Hello everybody and welcome back to the Legend of Dragoon. My name's Cody and in the last episode we were facing off against well the ancient dragoon so you're probably wondering why I'm here in Rouge the hash town of Homel as it was once famously called um, by me because I am bad at words. The reason is because we've collected all 50 Stardust. Um, I collected another 12 Stardust off screen. Those were the remaining 12 that we needed. Uh, I was thinking of doing it on screen, but then I realized I've been collecting Stardust so haphazardly that it wouldn't be a helpful guide to anyone. Anyone trying to collect the Stardust through my guides would be uh, hopelessly lost. So instead, I'm going to link in the description to the Legend of Dragoon website that I use. Um, there's a fan site which has helpful picture guides for getting all the Stardust and everything. I'll link it there for those who are interested. So we get the Rainbow Earrings for 40 Stardust. And with 50 Stardust, it triggers this, where Martel says, I collected all the Stardust in the world, which is to say she collected zero of the Stardust in the world, um, and we gave her all 50 of them. But it means that she can permanently heal her daughter Lil, uh, which she has been, she's been trying to do throughout this whole game. With a few Stardust, she was able to temporarily help her, um, but it didn't last. But with all 50... Lil is cured. I had a strange dream. There was a woman. She said, I'll give you happiness. So apparently Stardust is a woman. Isn't that strange? I'm already happy now. Yeah, so uh, it's been a happy ending. The whole family is reunited um, and not sick. Ma, I cannot breath. Oops, sorry. So what that means is we get one more item. I mean... Well, I, I guess we've saved saved a girl's life and reunited the family into a happy ending. But most importantly, we get another item. Uh, we get something very special that I'm very excited about, actually. It's called the Vanishing Stone. The Vanishing Stone is, well, it's the key item in a quest that I'm very excited about. Let's just go back and see what they have to say when, you know, when they're cured. I love being healthy. It's all thanks to you. Thank you. See? What a, what a nice uh, little girl. Kids are treasure chests of life. You open them up and you steal the slingshot inside of them and you use them to defeat the boss at the end of the dungeon. And then you never use that item again. Like the spinner and all the other items in Twilight Princess. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we need to escape, um, which I need to remember the direction to go first, uh, but while we are escaping, um, I'm going to talk about this Vanishing Stone and what it means for us. Um, the Vanishing Stone unlocks a very cool side quest. Uh, I should also show this new item that we got for 40, the Rainbow Earring. Uh, it's basically stops all status ailments. This is going to be very useful for a couple of uh, a couple of places remaining in the game where, for example, people keep casting instant death on you and it's a pain uh, and people cast oh, the worst of all of them, which is petrification, where you turn to stone. Um, that is the most terrifying status ailment to get. Um, but yeah, that avoids all of them. It's a very nice item, but not as nice as this Vanishing Stone, which will let us c complete... It's a side quest, but it's actually the... the most... It's probably the most difficult battle in the game, um, from all indications. People say that it's, uh, what, the most powerful battle in the game. Oh, by the way, this Rainbow Bird, I showed it off at the end of a an episode at one point, but I use this rainbow bird, I've actually been using this rainbow bird to train, because if you look at this, uh, this rainbow bird takes zero damage. Um, so what I do is I use this magic signet stone to block it from making any moves, which includes escaping, and then I wail on it with, oh hatchel has got a new move by the way, so much for me to say. He 
Sweep. Omni Sweep, his final technique, which is look, I think it's actually way I think it's actually way easier than his last technique that I had trouble with the uh, additions for. That one seems quite rhythmic to me honest. Uh, oh, and I was not paying attention. So yeah, the Venice Vanishing Stone unlocks Faust, who is probably the hardest fight in the game. Um, and you may have noticed before that I said, people say he's the hardest fight in the game. That's because I've never personally fought him. Uh, I've completed this game maybe three times and completed like the first disc or whatever, you know, probably like eight times or whatever. You know how you start games, but you don't always finish it. Uh, when you're just, you know, having a nostalgia trip and you're like, oh, I want to do some Legend of Dragoon. Uh, that's more impressive than it seems when you realize that this is like a 60 to 80 hour game. Uh, but and in none of those occasions have I ever collected all 50 Stardust. Um, I am not a collector. I'm not a collector in video games. Uh, I tend to... It's the same with Pokemon. I like making strong Pokemon teams, but I never collect them all. I've never collected all Pokemon. Um, so, I've never experienced this Magician Faust. And I'm really looking forward to it. This is content that I've never seen. Look, stop having battles. All I want to do is get out of this boat. What are you doing? Hold on. I'm going to be right back. Oh no, I guess I'm not. I guess, I'm, I guess he's going to run away before... That was the shortest battle of all time. Wow. Thanks, Rainbow Bird. So I'm... By the way, I'm unable to use Coolon at this period because the square button which I need to summon him uh, is currently being used when you're on the boat uh, for a different purpose which is getting onto the boat. So what I need to do is I need to escape the Twin Castle of Flex from, from the ground uh, which is to say go out the usual exit and I'll be able to get on Coolon again and we're gonna head to Xenobatos. Um Yeah, so there's this yeah, there's this optional boss who you can unlock with the Vanishing Stone that you get with all 50 Stardust that I've never seen, except in videos and stuff. Um, I've, I've never personally experienced it, so I don't know how hard it's going to be. I don't know how well prepared I am. So what we're going to do is... We've done enough side content for now. All those Dragoons were side content. I'm going to continue on through Xenobatos. We're not going to get locked into a period of... Uh, a point of no return for a little while. Um... So I'm going to continue the main story and get stronger through the main story for a while and then before the point of no return um, what we're going to do is we're going to fight the great magician Faust. Welcome back to Xenobatos which is a pretty cool place for pretty cool people. And by pretty cool people, I mean, like, witches and grim reapers, and look, it's just a, it's an adventure. You may remember Xenobatos from a few episodes, like five episodes ago, before I went on this sidetrack. Um, the gimmick of Xenobatos is that what you have to do is you have to go through the bureaucratic process of the Winglies in order to change the laws. And you can change a bunch of the laws. Uh, you can change laws that are just things like, hey, uh, I think there should be no guards anymore. Like, because you see these guards, if you get collected by guards, uh, it, it's a bit of, it's a bit of old fashioned Oh, and and they can sense you as soon as you step out onto the onto the area. So you can see if you want that treasure chest, um, we're gonna need to either be very very tricky, uh, or disable the guards. So what we do here, we walk through here and run away. If they catch us, we go to the prison, um, which is just no. No good for anyone. Uh, no one has a fun time in prison. Hold on. I feel like I just went in a loop. 
I feel like I definitely just went in a loop. Or did I? Is this new? Do you know what I hate? I hate Wingly Architects. I hate that they they think that it's a great, fantastic idea to put teleporters with no signs or explanation that go to random places. No, this is a new place. This is a new place. It's just that every place looks the same. Alright, so we get mostly chased out there and then we'll get a rainbow dress. Let's have a look at this. This seems like something that, uh... Hold on, blue dragoon armor, sparkle dress. Avoids poison stun and arm blocker. You notice I went straight to a, not Amanda, Miranda. Uh, the reason is because uh, the other two have their their dragoon armor, which is basically, you know, some of their ultimate ultimate kinds of armor. Right, let's go. Uh, let's two. Alright, we'll wait till he's all the way over there. Actually, I might not be able to make it. We'll wait till he's behind us and then run in. There we go. Yeah, stealth sections. I bet you didn't expect to see one in The Legend of Dragoon of all games. Uh, JRPG, The Legend of Dragoon. Submit law production license issued by Legislation Center. If you don't have one, step back. Oh, I went in the wrong order, huh? Okay, so... I forgot the order in which we do these things. So what we're gonna do... Look, this is all a learning experience. This is all... I'll just cut that out next time we have to do that. Uh, let's go get caught by a guard. Which I forget if I did... If I... If I did last time we were here, but I don't think so. There's an easy way to tell. Uh, are we arrested? Darn, what timing? Everybody's feeling the same way. We have to focus on how to get out of here. Uh, there's an easy way to get out of here, which is to say, count the members of the party. Of the seven dragoons, which six of them are currently in this room and which of them is missing? Can you solve this puzzling puzzle? Do you know which of the Dragoons was not teleported with us? Sorry Kongol is late. So yeah, uh, Kongol was probably just like too heavy to teleport or something. Yeah, uh, so he just broke in and now every time we get sent to prison, because there's no there's no humans or well winglies anymore, um, it means that no one's ever going to fix that wall. Oh uh, yeah, wingly code six five nine. Trespasser should be teleported to jail. So if we remember that number, we can we can eliminate that. We can eliminate that law, which I think we might be doing in the near future, but welcome first to the return of the amazing music. This is the music that plays apparently in every Wingly City, uh, the dance music. We've got a professor, a sky chaser, and another professor. And I'm currently using Hackle and Rose because uh, they need their additions maxed out. They're currently working on maxing out their, uh, their final additions. Which Rose isn't going to do if she just misses all the time. Um, Rose needs to maybe try a bit better. Also, that was rude. Yeah, so these guys can get dangerous, especially... Oh! Especially if you leave them in the red. Um, if you leave them in the red, some of them have nasty things like, for example, instant death attacks. Just no, it's no fun for everyone. I left this guy in the red because I messed up, but he is now in the dead, as they say. As they say in Cody's land. I keep messing this up. I think it's because I'm looking at the timer. I'm like, oops, I've been gone for 15 minutes, which is a normal length, but... I tend to go 
control of Ash and Joker. So let, I'll let this battle finish and then we'll end off this episode. And I'll see you next time as we continue through Xenobatos. Yeah, you get some good XP here too. See you then.